effect. And by the way, the evidence suggests that there has been no drop in drug consumption in the United States at all or the movement of drugs across the border uh, of Central America and also Mexico. But the more you actually push in one area, the more you're going to have it move to someplace else. That's exactly what's happened in Central America. This is why these children are really refugees, child refugees of a drug drug war that is our uh, our making. The, the, the point you made there, I think, is crucial also. The drug war that's been undertaken over the last 30 years particularly has not moved in any kind of discernible fashion the levels of drunk consumption in the United States. It's been a complete failure. Even uh, the prestigious Council of, uh, of Foreign Affairs has has, dicta- has recently stated in a report that the drug war is a failure. I mean, we have certain states. We have Colorado and Washington that have legalized marijuana. That's a step in the right direction. But we've got to decriminalize and regulate these drugs in the long term. Now, I'm not. That's not going to solve the problem on the border right now. Uh, with regard to these children, and many of them are refugees from these drug wars. Uh, we do have to very quickly. Uh, face figure out how many are in fact refugees and if they are refugees from our drug war we've got to we've got to help them uh, it, this is a humanitarian issue how many of our uh, forefathers our fathers grandparents uh, great grandparents uh, were, uh, were were refugees from yes. from foreign wars or from from foreign dangers i mean this is a, a yes. principle that the united states has has followed for years that is we we honor our humanitarian instincts are to open our gates to people who desperately need to come here, not to force them back uh, to death.